I can still enjoy the things I like and still have a very controlled insulin diet. And not ever, ever have to worry about the dietary crap anymore, about canning or tracking or anything. I, I just ignore everything on TV and my clients ignore it and it's just free, it's freedom because they don't ever have to pay another dime again the rest of their freaking lives to the dietary industry. Right. They just know what to do now. Yeah. And it's simply about controlling insulin in lots of facets. They gotta sleep better, they gotta strength train, they gotta exercise, they gotta control carbs fast. I mean, if they'll just do that, the longevity in that is crazy. I just listened to, I was listening to Joe Rogan the other day with Peter Atia. Oh, yeah. I love Peter Atia. And he was saying, he was talking about longevity, and he was talking about insulin resistance and about the, the, the exercise and so forth. He says, the bottom line is, if we want longevity, we have to exercise. You've got to be active. You've got to take that hour a day for yourself and go do it. And it's tough. BYU volleyball coach came in, and he was training for the Moab 200. A 200 mile run. After 100 miles, my feet are so bloody and blistered and hammered, I mean, there's no way. He's an amazing guy, amazing athlete. Of course, the BYU volleyball team is awesome. And so, uh, I don't think Sean would care, but Sean was just, you know, and he knew Ben from, from BYU. So he came in there, started the program, and it just, it just changed the way he trained. I mean, if you're gonna be an endurance athlete, this is the way to go. I mean, period. Yeah. I mean, if, you weren't, if you're not going low carb, it's just silliness. Because it's just, it's like cheating. I mean, it's just, I was waking up in the morning doing 20 mile runs, 25 mile runs with no food yeah. and feeling amazing. I had to have a little electrolytes and that's it. Yeah, yeah. They're eating coconut and yeah. fish and, yeah. and until, until the Western diet came into their lifestyle, yeah. then that, that ruined everything. Right. As a strength athlete, I probably wouldn't do it long term, yeah. but in short bouts, it's awesome. And I know one, in fact, one of the main trainers up in Salt Lake, MMA, puts his, his athletes all on ketogenic diets. Yeah. Really? yeah, and I'm sure there's some carb cycling there, I'm, I'm guessing in, in some of his training and stuff. Because they're, they're, they're actually gonna want high levels of insulin at points. Because mm -hmm. uh, insulin also makes muscle grow. That's why bodybuilders inject insulin. Because yeah. insulin makes everything big. Fat, muscle, yeah, everything. I mean, most of my clients that we see here are, are really sick. I do get guys that come in here that are, that are ready to, to work out hard, you know, as they do the program. And, and, you know, I warn them, I said, listen, this is gonna feel weird for a little while because you're not gonna have the glucose in your system to make you feel good. So you're gonna feel a little lethargic, you're gonna feel a little tired, you're gonna feel a little weak, a little off. It just takes a little bit of time to kind of fine tune this in. And, uh, but once you get it, it's awesome. It took me a couple months, actually, to really feel like I was back to where my normal self, right? Because I remember when I first started doing this, I couldn't run four or five miles, I'm thinking, God, this sucks, you know, this is awful. And then, boy, once you start to kick in though, man, you just feel, I mean, your energy levels are just spot on all day long. Yeah. I just felt lean and healthy, and I felt, um, I just felt powerful. I felt really strong. Aided and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.